Okay. So let's start. Okay. So before that, if anyone have the any doubt regarding quarter nickel, then please ask. You can use chat. Okay, if you have any doubt, then you can write in chat. So I will take the note. Okay, so let's start. So now we will start by numerical. So in this first, we'll go through the quarter joint. So the numerical is like, uh, it is required to design a quarter joint to connect to steel rods of equal diameter. Okay, and each rod is subjected to an XL tensile force of 50 kilo Newton design the joint and specify its main dimension. So uh, in this question, uh, you don't have any uh, value of the stress, uh, but in the GT you will get uh, all the value like uh, Sigma T, Sigma C and uh, Tau. Okay, so all three value you will get for both. You can say for uh, socket, spigot, okay, for socket, spigot, and for quarter, okay? So first, uh, in this question, you have to uh, select a suitable material. So I just have selected this uh, lean carbon steel of grade 30 C8, which have the yield uh, strength in tension that is 400 Newton per mm square. And after then, as uh, you have to select a factor of safety because you have neglected the initial stresses due to tightening of the quarter. In last lecture, we have already discussed that there are some assumptions. In this question, we are taking only for tensile loading conditions. This quarter have only tensile loading condition. Also, we have neglected the initial stresses due to tightening of the quarter and stress concentration due to slot in the socket and spigot. Okay, so for that we have to take a, we have to uh, take a factor of safety as we are going to neglect these things. Okay, so in this, uh, we will take a factor of safety of six for socket, rod and spigot and we are taking factor of safety of four for quarter. Why? Because in quarter, there is no stress concentration. Okay, so first thing is there is no stress concentration in quarter. And second one, the cost of quarter joint is small as compared with the socket and spigot joint. Okay, so due to this thing, uh, we can take that uh, factor of safety six for socket, rod and spigot and for quarter, we will take four. Next, we will uh, calculate the allowable stresses. Okay, as these are the yield stresses and we will uh, take the uh, allowable stresses and divide by the factor of safety. So first we'll calculate the, yes, uh, this one, sigma t. So this is yield stress divided by factor of safety. So for quarter, sorry, so for rod, spigot and socket and we will divide 40 by six. So the answer will be this 66.67 .67 Newton per mm square and same for quarter, uh, the stress, the yield tensile stress that is 400 and factor of safety for quarter is four. Okay. Next, that is a crushing stress, sigma C, that will be equal to this S Y C. Yield stress in compression divided by factor of safety. In this, we, we will take the yield strength in compression is twice the yield strength in tension, okay? And by this, we will get the answer of 133.33 Newton per mm square. And last, we will calculate this shear stress, allowable shear stress, that is a shear yield strength divided by factor of safety for both, for spigot, socket, rod, and save for quarter. Okay, so the value of this sigma t, sigma c tau, and sigma t tau will be given in your question 
if any questions from GTU, then they will give you the uh, stresses. Okay. So, so you no need to calculate these things. If they will give, they will provide you S Y T. Then you have to calculate. But uh, I think they will give you this sigma t, sigma c and tau. Okay. So next. So these are the dimensions. Step by step, we will solving this. So you have to just go through this procedure. So first, calculate the diameter of each rod. So we have the formula like this. This is the formula d is equal to root of p, uh, 4p divided by pi sigma d. So, so you can calculate this. So first calculate. So you have you all have a calculator and a notebook. So please just uh, make a practice of solving this numerical. Okay. So and also the uh, quarter and nickel joint numerical are very important for the GTU. They will ask in a GTU exam. Surely, uh, either a quarter or nickel. One of the question will be there in your GTU exam. So this D is equal to simply under root of four into fifty into ten raised to three divided by pi into sigma t that is sixty six point six seven. So just calculate this D is equal to so what will be the answer if you want to speak then you can unmute yourself the answer will be like 30.90 30.90 okay so 30.90 and uh, you have ah. to yes and you have to just standard this dimensions because you will not get 30.90 mm diameter rod so you have to take a standard like uh, 32 mm. Okay. So this is first one. So 30.90 and you have to just make a standard like this. So answer is 32 mm. The rod diameter is 32 mm. So first complete. Second steps is you have to calculate the thickness of the quarter. So you have, uh, we have discussed already that you have to take 31% of D. Okay, so in this again, just do a calculations like T is equal to 0 0.31 into D is given as 32. So just calculate this and uh, you will get any answer? 9.92. Yes, 9.92. So equal to 10 mm okay so t is equal to 10 mm so second step is complete third steps now you have to calculate the diameter of d2 of this pigot okay so we have the formula like p is equal to pi by 4 d2 square minus d2 into t into sigma t so in this you have to put the value of p okay you have to put the value of p in this t here and sigma t here okay so after putting the value you will get equations like this okay now you have to solve this equations okay so you have to solve this equation so just solve this equation in the form of like uh, uh, a x square plus b x plus C is equal to zero. Okay, so it will take time. So you have to solve, uh, first solve this equation in the form of this. So we can solve this. Okay, so step by step, if you want to write down, you can write this 50, okay, I, I will write here. 50 into 10 raised to three is equal to bracket pi by 4 d2 square minus d2 into 10 multiply 66.67 okay now you have to solve so do one thing 
just take this d2 first d2 square okay after then this minus d2 into 10 and this pi by 4 this one just divide by this so this is simply pi by 4 okay and this 15 to 10 raised to 3 divided by this and also this both so you will get minus 15 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 66.67 multiply pi by 4 is equal to 0 okay and after solving this you will get d2 square minus 10 by pi by 4 that is equal to something like 12.73 d2 minus 50 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 66.67 into pi by 4 so after calculation anyone have an answer what will be the answer okay so that will be equal to 9 5 4 point 8 8 is equal to 0 okay so you have got this thing so d2 square minus 12.73 d2 minus 954.88 okay so this is the answer so d2 square minus 12.73 d2 minus this now you have to solve the value of d2 and in this case you have to find out the roots of this equation so you can find out with the help of like first you have to take uh, like this uh, a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero then just compare these both equations and you will get value of a is equal to a is equal to one value of b is equal to minus 12 12.73 and c is equal to minus 954.88 okay and the value of this a b c you have to put in this equation so you can say that x1 comma x2 is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so just put the value of b then value of b is like minus 12.73 so minus into minus that will be plus so 12.73 plus minus under root b square that is minus 12.73 square and that will be 162 point zero five minus four into one into that c is minus nine five four so four into one into nine five four point eight eight then you will get plus three eight one nine point five like this divided by two into one that is two okay after solving this, you will get is equal to 12.73. Okay. You will get 12.73 plus minus and uh, next value is 61.80 divided by 2 okay in this if you are take if you take plus plus sign first you have to take plus sign second you have to take minus sign 
if you take plus sign then all this value will be in plus if you take minus sign then all the value will be in minus so the length will not be in minus so we will take plus sign only and after then taking this as a plus okay taking this as a plus then you will get the answer like 73 sorry 74 okay 74.52 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 37.26 and approximately you can say that 40 mm so the value of d2 okay so the value of d2 is 40 mm like this the value of d2 is 40 mm okay any doubt in this okay let's do next next step so in next step you have to calculate diameter of d1 okay so that is more complex equation so in this first you have to put all the value like p is given given as a 15 to 10 ratio 3 sigma t is 66.67 okay so we will uh, after putting all this value in this as you can see this p here okay t value is here d2 it's here also and here also and this sigma t is here so after putting all the value you will get this equation so first you have to solve this equation in the form of simple ax square plus bx plus c okay same a x square plus bx plus c is equal to zero you have to put this equation in this form so let's put this equation so first we have the equation like p p is equal to five by four d1 square minus d2 square minus d1 minus d2 into t okay so after after that you have to put like 50 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to 5 by 4 d1 square minus 40 square minus d1 minus 40 into 10 like this and after solving this thing you will get like you have to solve okay just make d1 first so d1 square sir shayad se sigma reh gaya yes sigma t yes 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 sigma t is last here okay so sigma t is here 66.67 yes 66.67 okay so first take all d1 okay d1 square here so in this you can see like uh, this d1 have multiplication of this pi by 4 okay and this 66.67 go here divided by this 15 to 10 to 3 also uh, in this you can see okay this this is okay so d1 is square minus now you can see this d1 into 10 okay d1 into 10 divided by this pi by 4 okay in this after then all the constant c value will put in one side okay so d1 multiply with 10 divided by pi by 4 okay minus minus 1 by into the power y pi by 4 into that 50 into 10 raised to 3 okay i, I just uh, clear all and i just uh, make complete equation okay just see this okay so like uh, d1 square minus d1 bracket 10 divided by pi by 
4 also you can solve in your notebook so 1 divided by pi by 4 and in bracket you can see like 50 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 66.67 plus plus with this uh, this bracket pi by 4 into 40 square also minus 400 bracket close is equal to 0 so this is the complete equation okay so, and after solving this equation finally uh, you will get like d1 square minus 12.73 d1 minus 2045.59 is equal to 0. Okay, so you will get this. Now this, you have this equation. So in this same, you have to find out the roots. Okay, so let's find out the roots. Just compare this with A, B, C. So first you will get this A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 12.73 and C is equal to minus 2045.59 and you have this equation that uh, x1 comma x2 is equal to same minus b plus minus and root of this 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 by 2a okay i will write this equation okay like here i will just calculate for you so as you can see this x1 x2 is equal to minus b so this minus minus plus so that will be 12.73 plus minus under root of minus b square okay so b square that is minus minus plus so we can say 162.05 okay 162.05 and uh, plus 8182.36 total divided by 2 so again in this also you have to take the positive sign then you will get final 104.07 by 2 and you will get answer like 52.03 and that will be equal to you can say that 54 like that Okay, so 54 and compared. So like this, you have to solve this equation and you will get the value of like 55, yes. Okay, so this is 55. Next. So next step is like you have to just simply uh, uh, by empirical relationship, the theory and D4. So you have to find out the value then you can say that this this d3 is equal to uh, 1.5 times d and this d4 is 2.4 times this one so you will get simply 48 mm and 80 mm like this okay next next step is you have to find out value of uh, this a c so what are the a and c so a is and c so both are like uh, length as you can see so the length of A, this length is 75% of this diameter D and same this, this one is C, okay, this one C. This is a, a also 75% of diameter D. Okay, next step like this. Uh, yes, in this you have to calculate the uh, width of the quarter joint, uh, sorry, width of the quarter. In that first you have to take the shear criteria and second, you have to take a bending criteria. Just calculate both and whichever is maximum, you have to take that value. Okay, so in this first we will solve, yes, first we will solve by this value. In this you can see, this B is equal to P divided by two tau T. Okay, 
and second one is this uh, big equation you have to remember this equation in this you will get this so simply i am solving this so you can see the value as time is very less because it's 40 minutes only after then i have to start again a uh, second meeting so in this you can see this b is equal to p by 2 tau l so by putting all the value you will get value of b is like 50 and again in this bending also you will get value of 50 so both are same so both are 50 and 50 so you can take b is equal to 50 and all okay in next step sir the soul yes tell me sir is sir kaun se formula se solve kare sir pehle ya fir both 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 formula okay first we have a, we have solved this formula in this this is of tau okay and second one is this this is for bending so these are the form this this formula is for shear and this formula is for bending okay so you have to put all the value and uh, after solving you will get in this tau this is 50 and sir dono mein se jiski value zyada hogi usko lena hai humko hello yes, sir yes. don ha usko lenge na ha zyada jiski zyada okay. value hogi usko lenge kya kyunki dekho agar shear ki value by chance agar 40 aa jati और इसकी वैल्यू अगर 50 आती तो हम 50 को लेके जाते क्योंकि शेयर यस ये शेयर में तो तो हम फेल या शेयर में तो फेल नहीं होता अगर 40 लेते तो शेयर में तो फेल नहीं होता पर वो बेंडिंग में फेल हो जाता सो बाय चांस अगर बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस आ जाती तो वहां पे फेलियर हो जाता जो क्वार्टर है वो बेंड हो जाता सो हम क्या करेंगे दोनों में जो वैल्यू ज्यादा होंगी वो लेंगे ताकि वो दोनों में सेफ हो ओके ओके नेक्स्ट हम क्या करेंगे ठीक है सर अभी जो हमने जो भी कैलकुलेशंस किया है ओके उसमें हमने सब क्या किया था सिग्मा टी ही हमने यूज किया जाता था कॉट सॉरी स्पिकॉट एंड सॉकेट के लिए बट अब हम यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे नाउ व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल चेक दिस सिग्मा सी द चंड्रेट सिग्मा सी शुड बी लेस देन द मटेरियल स्ट्रेंथ ओके सो जो डायमेंशन है वी हैव द डायमेंशन लाइक डी टू इज फोर्टी एंड टी इज टेन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डायमेंशन वी वी गॉट दैट This is 125 Newton per mm square. Okay, और इसकी जो value है, जो generate हुआ है, this is generated. या यहाँ पे crushing generated हो रहा है, ठीक है? और इसकी value किससे कम है? That given material, that is 133.33. अगर इसकी value 125, the 125 value अगर इसकी value इससे ज़्यादा होती, 133 से, तो वहाँ पे हमको वापस से redesign करना पड़ता, but the value of 125 less than 133 so it is safe same like we have to check in shears also in this year the generate value is 26.04 and the material strength having 33.33 again we can say that this 26.04 is less than 33.33 so this is also same so humko kya karna hai we have to check the both crushing and shear stress are in safe limit or not if both are in safe then the design is okay if not then we have to again a uh, uh, redesign we have to redesign these things so both are in safe limit same we will check in socket so in this you can see in case of this again here you can see this is what generation is 125 this is less than 133 and this tau is generation is 26.04 and this is less than 33.33 so uh, i will give you the video of this whole lecture so you can also uh, calculate all the things okay because uh, we have very less time now only 10 minutes we have so i have to complete uh, the miracle of knuckle also okay but if you have any doubt then you can uh, say okay you can speak next yes this is t1 the value of t1 is just a simple uh, spigot collar this and the value of this is simply 45 percent of diameter t so you can solve this and after then for good marks if you want good marks then you can make a final quarter joint assembly and all the value that calculated you can put in the picture okay so this is d3 that is 40 d4 that is 80 this a c are 24 like this complete so this is the design of quarter joint. Now we will complete in 10 minutes the design of knuckle joint. Okay, so that's knuckle joint is simple. 
okay so in this knuckle joint same we have a uh, a load of 50 kilo newton okay so tensile force again 50 kilo newton and first we will select our suitable material and also in this we will calculate this sigma t sigma c and tau okay and we have taken the factor of safety is five okay in this we have taken this yield strength in compression is equal to yield strength in tension both are equal okay so both are equal to 400 in this we have taken like this so this all we have solved okay now we will solve step by step so first step we have uh, we have to calculate the capital d the diameter of the rod then same formula we have under of 4p divided by pi sigma t then uh, just put the value of this okay so value of p here and this sigma t that is really here and you will get answer like 28.21 okay so you can say that 30 mm simple okay next yeah enlarge diameter of each rod so this is simply 10 percent greater than this t okay more than 10 percent of the rod sir, diameter. Wo s y key or s y d key value ka sa thi, sir. yes okay yeah so we in in the question we have taken this dime uh, this this material so in this we have the value of syt is equal to 400 newton per mm square okay so we have only this uh, shear uh, yield strength in tension we have the value of this and in so this value quarter or knuckle dono mein same hi rehti hai na now we have selected this uh, this material na so that's why just 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 look at this i have selected this 30 c8 so value of 30 c8 yield tensile okay. strength is this okay if i select different material then the value will be different okay so this okay, is sir. yield strength but before uh, on uh, if uh, i take this yield strength as the final allowable stress then that will be problem because we have to take the factor of safety so that's why i use the factor of safety 5 okay Yield strength, if we go up, then it will 